Okay, this is going to be a quick unboxing of the new Apple TV. Just came in today. This is the 2015, I think this is the 5th or 6th generation Apple TV. Comes in the box just like this. There she is. Apple TV. It's definitely a nicer box than the previous uh, models. We got a 32 gigabyte. Let's just go ahead and open her up. Of course, with the new model came a price increase, so it's not surprising that the box is nicer. The box opens similar to what you would expect from an iPhone or some of the new Apple boxing styles that use gravity. There she is. So the first impression I have from this is that it's heavier than I expected. The old Apple TV box was not very heavy. This has some, some significant weight to it. It is shiny. Got the, TV, the new Apple TV remote, thinner than I expected. Let's go ahead and put the plastic back. Open her up. Now this is uh, remiss of the Airport Extreme. They just oh, peeling back an Apple logo, shiny Apple logo, um, inset into a rubbery bottom. Also remiss of the Airport Extremes. This uh, sticker that you have to peel off. Revealing the ports on the back, where we have your standard power adapter, um, lightning, nope, that's USB-C, HDMI, and your Ethernet. The big sell on the Apple TV over the Chromecast is the Ethernet for me. I firm believer that if you're going to watch something that's really high quality, although the new Chromecast, I love it, does great, it's still wireless. Okay. The remote, as you can see, it's it's pretty thin. It's a pretty thin little remote. It's cool that this whole thing clicks. That's gonna be cool to use. What else we got in the box here? They've given us a pretty standard power adapter. Looks identical to the one that the last generation Apple TV used. They have given us an Apple TV Let's Get Started guide and a lightning cable, which I assume is to charge, yep, the remote. So what you would do, yep, this plugs the remote right in, charges right up. Very cool. Okay, let's plug her in and turn her on. Alright, we are back with a little bit of power, just powered it on, and the first thing that we see just came up on the screen. Didn't start with English, which is interesting, but it invites you to get started, so I'm going to go ahead and press anything, I'm going to press menu. Remote connected, which language would you like? That's cool. Click on English, United States. Now you can set up your device. I'm going to set up manually, just for the purpose of this video. Activating Apple TV. We have an Apple ID. And enter it here. I'm going to go ahead and skip through this and go ahead and sign in with my Apple ID. We'll see what happens. Alright, I just click sign in with my Apple ID. And it's going to do two step verification for me. I'm just going to send a text message and enter the code that it sends to this phone, incidentally. Okay. 
wonder if it'll show me the text when I'm taking a video. It does. Beautiful. I can show this on video, no problem with that. Apple ID verified. And good to go. Enable location services. Aerial screensaver, Apple TV, use Siri. Oh, automatically download the aerial screensaver. I'm terrible. Well, I guess I'm not. I usually say don't send. But I'll share with the developers. I want to make you read through it. Agree. And this is the new Apple TV. Let's look at some apps in the App Store. Already a lot of apps in the Apple TV App Store. A lot of apps. I uh, was reading an article this morning, since this is the first day that it's delivered to people, that there were 45. There are now a lot more than 45. Let's look at the favorite video apps. Netflix, let's install it. Go back and install something else. What else do we have? I could use some USA now. Oh, it needs me to sign in. Shame. I'll just sign in. Sure, you want to download USA now? Yes, I am. All right, what else do we have? YouTube, that's a good app. I'll take it. YouTube is installed. Lots of stuff, very cool. Apple Music, very cool. Let's go through the settings really quick. This looks a lot like the old Apple TV. Screensaver is Arial, type. Download new videos every day. That's pretty cool. All right, what else? Sleep after, I like to make it never sleep. Siri, I'm um, not Siri usage. Not a whole lot in general. You can set multiple accounts, it looks like. Oops. Audio and video. Surround sound. Everything is automatically managed. That's great. Airplane is on. Apple TV. Some devices. You can adjust the sensitivity, that's pretty cool. Bluetooth. Turn on TV with your remote. Oh, that's using the home theater remote. Apps. Network. Using IP addresses. So, yeah, that's been an unboxing of the Apple TV. Could be a good device. Thanks.
that's right.